Hello viewers, welcome to Mind Your Math YouTube channel. This is yours, Kona Karan Reddy. In my previous video, I explained the solutions of problems from 1 to 25 of Mathematics Talent Test 2022 conducted by ZP High School Kallur with the support of Andhra Pradesh Mathematics Forum. Today, let us go through the problems from 26 to 50. Those are the remaining problems. We will complete the solutions of those problems in this video. And before going to the explanations, if you like my previous videos or if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Let us quickly go through the solutions. Here is the first problem. Father of statistics is PC Mahalanobis, that is option 1. PC Mahalanobis is father of Indian statistics. Now, second, George Conter, no. Third one, Ronald A. Fisher. So, third option is correct. Ronald A. Fisher is called father of statistics. Let us go to next problem. Find the median class of the following data. Not median, just median class of the following data. Given class intervals and cumulative frequencies also we are given. So, how to find out the median class? We need to find out where n by 2 value fall in the cumulative frequencies. That means this is equal to n value here is the sum of frequencies that is 50. So 50 divided by 2 which is equal to 25. Now 25 falls under which cumulative frequency that is what we need to find out. If you take first one that is 12, under 12 do we have 25? No. So this is not. Now 26. If you take 25 is below 26, so this is the median class, that means 300 to 350, which one option 2, so this is median class, option 2 is correct in this case. Next, what do you find in the situation, the marks obtained by the most of the students, most of the students, most of the students means there is nothing but mode, so option 3 is correct. Next problem. What is the date of birth of Ganita Brahma Lakozu Sanjeevaraya Sharma? This is what we need to remember. So option 1 is correct in this case. 22-11-1907 is the date of birth of Ganita Brahma Lakozu Sanjeevaraya Sharma. Next. 30th problem. Which of the following statement is false? 1. Mode of first 10 natural numbers does not exist. Yeah, this is correct. This is a true statement. This is true statement. Then median of first 5 whole numbers is 3. So let us find out the median of first 5 whole numbers. What are the first 5 whole numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what is the median of these 5? Exactly middle value we need to take. Exactly middle value is 2. So median of first 5 whole numbers is 2, not 3. So, this is a false statement. So, 3, 4, yeah. So, option 2 is correct in this case. We need to find out which statement is false. Next one. Sin square 30 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees equal to how much? We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. This is a trigonometric identity. We know this. So, this is equal to Option 1 is correct. Next. Sin theta into cos theta into tan theta into cot theta into secant theta into cosecant theta equal to. We know that sin theta into cosecant theta, if you take, this is equal to 1. And cos theta into secant theta equal to 1. Tan theta into cot theta is also equal to 1. Now, if you take the combinations here, sin theta into cosecant theta, this is 1. And cos theta into secant theta, this is equal to, this is also equal to 1. And tan theta into cot theta is also equal to 1. So, 1 into 1 into 1, that means that is equal to 1. So, which one is the correct option? Option 2 is the correct one. Right, let us go to next one. If secant theta plus tan theta equal to p, then find secant theta minus tan theta value. We know that 
secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. This is the trigonometric identity. Use a square minus b square equal to a plus b times a minus b identity. So, this is an identity. So, therefore, secant square theta minus tan square theta can be written as secant theta plus tan theta. This is a plus b. Then into a minus b. That is secant theta minus tan theta which is equal to 1. Now, secant theta plus tan theta that is given as p. So, p into secant theta minus tan theta equal to 1. So, we can say secant theta minus tan theta equal to 1 by p. So, the answer is 1 by p. So, here we don't have options but the answer is 1 by p. Let us go to the next problem. Match the following Pythagorean triplets. What are Pythagorean triplets? If we have three numbers which satisfy a square plus b square equal to c square, this condition. So, those are said to be Pythagorean triplets. Here a, b, c are three numbers. Here, first if you take option a, 3, 4, we need to take 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to, we know that actually this is 5 square. But if you don't know, just you calculate. 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16 which is equal to 25 and that is equal to 5 square. So, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. These are the Pythagorean triplets. So, we need to connect A with this 2. So, we have 3 options like this. So, out of these 3, we need to check which one is the correct one. Now, let us go to second one. 7, 24 we have. So, 7 square plus 24 square which is equal to 7 square is 49 plus 24 square is 576. If you add these two, you will get 625 which is equal to 25 square. So, B, B is to be connected with 4. B4, which one is correct? You see here B4. So, option 3 is correct in this case. We need not to check C and D also. Right, why? Because B connected with 4 in option 2 only. In the remaining, B is connected with other options. So, you need not to check the remaining. Right, so option 3 is correct in this case. Let us go to the next one. Find the complementary angle of 75 degrees. What are the angles? Those are said to be complementary angles. If sum of angles, sum of two angles, sum of two angles equal to 90 degrees, then we say those two angles are complementary angles. Now here we are given 75 degrees. So 75 degree plus how much equal to 90 degree. Clearly we can say that if you add 15 degrees to 75 degree, you will get 90 degree. Or subtract 75 from 90 to get this question mark value. So that will be 15 degrees. So option 2 is correct in this case. Next problem. In triangle ABC, angle B equal to 90 degree, AB equal to 5 centimeter and angle ACB equal to 45 degrees. Determine the lengths of BC and AC. Here, this is a right angled triangle. Right angle is at B. So, let us write B here. Angle ACB. So, that means let us take A here, C here. ACB equal to 45 degrees. This is 45 degree. Immediately, we can say that the other angle, angle at A, that is also equal to 45 degree. Why? Because the sum of the angles in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. One angle is 90, other one is 45 means the remaining must be 45 degrees. Now, this, if you observe this one, this is 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle. Right. So, that means the sides will be in a ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Here we are given AB equal to 5 centimeter. So, if you write 5 centimeter here, this is the opposite side to 45 degree. So, opposite side to other 45 degree angle that is also equal to 5 centimeters. Now, AC will be equal to how much that is root 2 times to the remaining sides. So, this will be 5 root 2. Right. So, AB equal to 5 centimeter, BC equal to 5 and AC is 5 root 2. Let us check which option is correct. 
BC5, AC5. No, this is not correct. Next, second option, BC equal to 5, yes. AC equal to 5 root 2. So, option 2 is correct in this case. And one more thing, whenever we have 30, 60, 90 triangle, suppose if I take this is 90 degree and this is 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees, suppose. This is 30, 60, 90 triangle. In this case, the sides will be in a ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So that means if we take 1 here, then the side opposite to 60 degrees that will be root 3 and the side opposite to 90 degrees that will be 2. So that means here in this case, suppose here this is 5 centimeter, then this side will be 5 root 3 centimeter and the hypotenuse will be 5 times 2 which is equal to 10 centimeter. So, if this side, one side is 5 centimeter, that means if the side which is opposite to 30 degree angle is 5 centimeter, then the remaining sides directly you can find out in this way. Right, let us go to next problem. In triangle PQR, QR square plus PQ square equal to PR square, then right angle is at which vertex? So, here let us take a right triangle, suppose this is the right triangle. Now, given that QR square plus PQ square equal to PR square. So, clearly PR square, uh, here PR must be hypotenuse. So, let us write PR here. Then the remaining vertex must be Q and Q will be equal to 90 degrees. So, right angle is at which vertex means at Q. So, option 2 is correct in this case. Next. Which of the following figures are similar figures? A. All squares. B. All equilateral triangles. C. All circles. C. Again we are given. I don't think we can ignore this. So A. All squares. Yes. All squares are similar figures. We know that. All equilateral triangles. Those are also similar. Then all circles. All circle also. All circles also similar. So all squares. All equilateral triangles. And all circles are similar. So, option 1 is correct. Next, which of the following is not a criterion of similarity of triangles? So, here let us see the options. A, A, A. Yes, we have similarity criterion. S, S, S also we have. S, A, S also we have. A, A, S. A, A, S is only for congruency. So, option 4 is correct. We don't have AAS similarity rule. We have AAS congruency rule only. Right. Next 40th problem. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And there are, this must be like this, and the areas are. And the areas are, respectively 64 centimeter square and 121 centimeter square. If EF equal to 22 centimeter, then find BC. So here we are given areas. What can you say about areas of two similar triangles? Ratios of their areas, that means area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle DEF. This will be equal to ratio of squares of corresponding sides. That means this is equal to AB square by DE square and that is also equal to BC square divided by EF square, AC square divided by DF square, DF square. Out of this, which can we use? Let us check. Area of triangle ABC, that is given 64, divided by area of triangle DEF, that is 121. This is equal to, we are given EF equal to 22 centimeters. Where is EF? Here you see. So, BC square divided by EF is how much? 22. So, 22 square. From this, we can write 64 can be written as 8 square divided by 121 can be written as 11 square. So this is equal to BC square by 22 square. So that means 8 by 11 whole square equal to BC by 22 
whole square. We can remove these two squares. We will get 8 by 11 equal to BC by 22. So from that we can cross out actually 11 times 1 and this is 11 times 2. So from this we can get 8 equal to BC by 2. So send this 2 to left side. 8 times 2 equal to BC. So therefore BC equal to how much? 16 centimeter. So the option is, we don't have options here. Yeah, okay. So the value of BC is equal to how much? That is 16 centimeter. Let's go to next problem. Find X value in the adjacent figure. So here we are given some values. You observe angle 110 degree and angle 70 degree. 110 degree plus 70 degree, if you take that will be 180 degrees. So according to co-interior angles property, we can say that PQ is parallel to AB. So from this we can say PQ is parallel to AB. So if PQ is parallel to AB, then immediately we can say that this small triangle and this big triangle, these two are similar. So we can say that triangle PQC is similar to triangle ABC. From that, if you take the ratio of sides, we can easily find out x value. So here x is pq. So let us take pq. pq by the corresponding side to pq in the big triangle is ab. So pq by ab. So pq by ab. That is equal to we can say qc by bc. So bc. Now pq we don't know that is x divided by ab that is 5 equal to qc. If you observe qc is 3 observe in the triangle divided by BC. BC is how much? 3 plus 3 that is 6. So from this we need to find out the value of X. We can cross out 3 times 1 and this is 3 times 2. Then X by 5 equal to that is equal to 1 by 2 we have. So X equal to clearly if you send this 5 to right side that will be 5 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 5 by 2. So 5 by 2. So first option is correct. Let's go to next one. Which figure barrel shown in the adjacent can hold more? Not more. This is more actually. So more water. Here these two are cylinders. We need to find out the volumes of these two cylinders to figure out which can hold more water. So in figure one, this one is the diameter of the base. We can take radius equal to this is one by two. In the second figure, the diameter is equal to how much 4? We can say the radius equal to how much 2? Now, to find out the volume of a cylinder, what is the formula? That is pi r square h. So, pi r square h, this is the formula. So, let us find out the volume of first cylinder. Pi r square means 1 by 2 whole square h. h is 4. Now, this is equal to pi into 1 square means 1 divided by 2 square is 4 times 4. 4, 4 gets cancelled. This is equal to pi units. Let us find out the volume of the second cylinder. Pi r square means 2 square into h. h is 1. So this is pi into 2 square is 4. So this is equal to 4 pi. Clearly 4 pi is more than pi. So that is why second cylinder can hold more water. So Option 2 is correct in this case. Next, a sphere, a cylinder and a cone are of the same radius and same height. Find the ratio of their curved surface areas. So here if you take a sphere, cylinder, this is the cylinder and cone. So let us assume that these three have same radius and same height. Suppose the radius of the cylinder is r. Then the height of the cylinder, if you can take this one as 2r actually. Now height of the cylinder is also 2r and the radius of the cylinder is r. Now radius of the cone is r. Height of the cone is this is 2r. Now from this we can find out slant height. Why? Because 
to find out the curved surface area of a cone, we need to use the formula pi r l. So from this we can find out l. We know that l square equal to r square plus h square. So this is equal to r square means r square itself. h square is nothing but 2r whole square. So this is equal to r square plus 2r whole square means 4r square which is equal to 5r square. So from that we can say l equal to root of 5r square which is equal to root 5 times r. Now let us find out the curved surface areas of each diagram. So first for sphere the formula is 4 pi r square nothing to do with that one we can keep that one as it is. Then the formula to find out curved surface area is 2 pi r h this is equal to 2 pi r into h height of the cylinder is 2 r. So this is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 pi r square. Then for cone the formula to find out curved surface area is pi r l. So pi r l is root 5 r. So that will be equal to root 5 pi r square. Now the ratios are 4 pi r square is to 4 pi r square is to root 5 pi r square. So we can cancel r square r square r square and pi 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 we can cancel. The remaining values are 4 is to 4 is to root 5. So the answer is option 3. Instead of doing all these things if you remember these ratios that will be very very good. So my sincere request is please try to remember these ratios. Next problem. Find the slant height of right circular cone with radius 3 and height 4 cm. So let us take a cone with the radius how much this is the radius this is uh, how much 3 cm and height is how much 4 cm so this height this is 4 cm we need to find out the slant height let us take that one as L we know that this is a right triangle we can easily find out the value of L by using Pythagorean theorem we know that L equal to R square plus H square this is nothing but the application of Pythagorean theorem this is equal to R square is 3 square plus h square equal to 4 square, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, so 9 plus 16 means 25, so l equal to root 25 which is equal to 5, so slant height is nothing but 5 centimeter, so option 1 is correct. 45th problem, find the lower boundary of the class interval 10 to 20 in the classes 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, so 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, all this we have, we need to find out the lower boundary of this 10 to 20 class. 10 to 20 class lower boundary will be 10. If you observe the previous class, for that the upper boundary is 10. So actually we need to take the average of these two. Of course both are same, that is why we can take directly 10 as the lower boundary of this 10 to 20 class. So option 3 is correct in this case. 46th problem. For a collection, the sum of 11 items is 132, then the arithmetic mean is, arithmetic mean is nothing but that is equal to sum of observations by number of observations, number of observations, sum, sum means sum of observations. So the sum here is 132 divided by number of observations that is 11. So we need to divide 132 by 11. We can cross out 11 times 1 and this is 11 times 1 is 11, 2 will be there 22, 11 times 2 is 22. So we can cross out that is equal to 12. So the answer is option 2. 47th problem. Another name of Pythagoras theorem. So another name for Pythagoras theorem is nothing but Baudhayana theorem. That is option 1. Next. In triangle ABC, if a square plus b square equal to c square, then angle c equal to, this is very simple and direct question, angle c will be equal to 90 degrees. So option 2 is correct in this case. 49th problem, mention the names of the shapes in the adjacent figure. In the adjacent figure, what are the shapes we have? Suppose if you take here, this is cone 
and the next one this is cylinder observe the bottom one this is nothing but hemisphere actually this is hemisphere so option 1 is correct next one find lsa lateral surface area of a room with measurements 10 meter 9 meter 8 meter here we can take l equal to 10 meter b equal to 9 meter h equal to 8 meter so lsa equal to lateral surface area equal to we know the formula there is 2h into l plus b so this is equal to 2 into h is 8 into l is 10 plus b is 9 so this is equal to 2 times 8 is 16 times 10 plus 9 means 19 to find out this value you need not to calculate the entire 16 into 19 you know that 6 into 9 is how much 6 times 9 is 54 right so the digit in units place is 4 now you check in the options do we have any number with 4 in its units place option 3 we have 3 not 4 so option 3 is correct of course you can multiply 16 and 19 let us check 6 times 9 is 54 then 9 times 1 is 9 and 6 times 1 is 6 so 9 plus 6 is 15 15 plus this 5 is 20 so 2 here let us put 0 1 times 1 is 1 1 plus 2 is 3 so 3 not 4 is correct of course we can do like this but for this particular problem you need not to do the entire calculation just take 6 and 9 multiply those two 6 times 9 is 54 the digit in units place is 4 so you check in the options which number has 4 in its units place so option 3 is correct in this case with this all the problems from the test conducted by Kallur Jatvi High School of YSR district with the support of Andhra Pradesh Mathematics Forum is completed hope you enjoyed my explanations if you enjoy my explanations, my sincere request is please subscribe my channel. This is yours, Kona Kiran Reddy. Thank you.